Hey guys, what's going on? Psychotria here, and I got a new game to get started. It's Resident Evil Code Veronica. Now, I've only played one Resident Evil game before, and that was Resident Evil 4. So I figured this is like an opportunity to get to know the series a little bit more. And maybe I'll take this in reverse chronological order. I'll play like each game that came out before Resident Evil 4. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to like this. I don't know if I'm going to want to continue and play some of those earlier games. But I've always had my eye on this game. It's a Dreamcast, Dreamcast version that I'm playing. And I thought it'd be fun. So let me read this, this text scroll to you. The American Midwestern town Raccoon City has been completely decimated to the T-virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris, and rookie police officer Leon S. Kennedy managed to escape from the city, but the ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Oh, that's a mouthful. Yeah, I only played Resident Evil 4, and that was... That was an insanely good game. Because it was like... Nothing I've ever played before, and I'm sure a lot of Resident Evil fans felt the same way, because it was unlike all the other ones, with like the static camera angles and the such. Well... I never played any of those static camera ones, so I figure why not start with, uh... You know, the most, number is WKD I don't know, the last of the Welcome ones, you know? Oh! Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing oh. in our Paris Lab facility ten days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. These, uh... These guys are shooting must have taken lessons from the Stormtrooper, Star Wars Stormtrooper school of shooting. They're gonna hit their own guys if you do that. That's no good. Now, not much for the scary game type, you know, I mean, the only scary game, the only horror, survival horror game I played was... Resident Evil 4. Maybe Slender Man counts as that, but uh, that was so stressful. It wasn't scary, it was stressful. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. How's she gonna escape from this? Uh. Uh, smooth. Multi kill. <sighs> All right, Claire. Don't move. The game, the jig is up, Claire. You've been caught. You've been had. I don't know if you could see what I'm seeing, but this is... This full motion video has quite got some uh, compression artifacts. It might just be my TV that I'm using, but... Oh, it's rough to look at. I hope that you're enjoying it more than I am. Something's happening. In jail, behind bars, in the Hooskow, the big house, Jailhouse Rock. Let's see where things take us. Who's there? Someone's in the dark. Yeah, the colors on my TV are really bad. I'm looking over at my uh, my screen that's got the capture going, and it looks fine, but like, it just looks terrible. If I were equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. Uh. Uh, we're, uh, my, my, my controls are weird. 
items uses check items. No, no. Oh Lord, we are in for it now. Nope, wrong button. Equip. There we go. Whoa! That was a man. Come on, Claire, don't ask questions. This guy's getting you out of there. Hustle looks hurt. Popping some pills, little fight. Oh, all out. Bummer. Go on. Get out of here. This place is Something must have gone down. This guy who just I got me wants me out. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. I don't know if you can hear that, but the Dreamcast is not a quiet, the complex. quiet console. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry. I'm gonna have to me. see if there are subtitles or something, because I can't hear what they're saying. Hit up the pause menu. All right, no subtitles, so that's gonna be weird. And already, it's this is pretty weird movement. Yeah, girl, just spin in place. Uh, uh, oh, God. I can't describe... Ah, uh, it's so... Ah, uh, weird. All right, let me describe to you how, how this works. You press... Take the handgun bullets? Yes. You press forward. You press up on the, on the, the stick to walk in the direction that she's facing. So, like, if I wanted to... On my back? Oh, God, it's so weird. Like, it's not, it's not like, you know, normal third-person stuff. Third-person controls. It's a list of prisoners. My name is at the end. WKD 4496 Claire Redfield. The escort's name is at the end of the document. Umbrella Medical Paris. Third security unit leader? Rodrigo Ron Raval. His eyes are closed. He's bleeding. I'll need hemostatic medicine. I'll need something. Oh, come on. What do we got? Take the combat knife? Yeah. All right. Oh. Hmm. Getting a taste for things here. Let's see, where does the door lead us to? Ah, the infamous typewriter ribbons. The ink ribbons and the typewriter. Yeah, hmm. Well, I don't really need to save at the very beginning of the game because at this point, if something goes wrong, it's just a matter of pressing start to skip through a few menus. Already, we got some creepy crawly bugs. Uh, some stuff over here. Something to look at. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, any chance you can hustle? Oh, oh. oh, you have to press the button to walk up the stairs. They're not actual walkable stairs. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. Is this a loading screen? Cause it's slow as balls here. Uh, what in the world? Is that a subway train? What? I can't tell what the hell that is. A truck. Oh, a truck used for transport. I was looking from the crash wreck, a dead body, and briefcase it's seen inside. I want the briefcase. I don't know if that's what this game's about, but I want the briefcase. I want briefcase. Ah. Uh, the controls are like completely. Whoa! There's the briefcase. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. Oh god. She fell down. Cla first mistake. What's gonna happen? 
Oh! Is it, these are real, like, out of the, the ground zombies, not just like, I'm an infected person? These are the rising out of the grave. Oh god. But this raises some questions. What kind of, um, I don't know if this is prison or medical plant or something. What kind of one has, um, a graveyard right in their, their backyard? Right next door? Is it for the people who worked there who died, or for the prisoners who died? Oh no. I want that knife. That's the only thing I have. Oh no, no! What's my attack button? Oh, come on! I don't have a knife! Oh, there we go. Now I'm, I'm cooking with a knife. Probably gonna die soon. Get off of me, creepy! No, no! Uh. Oh, she's limping. That's not good. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, come on, Claire! Come on, Claire! No! Oh. I died. Well, I learned some important things. Let's see if I could put those things I learned into practice on the next episode of Psychotria Plays. See you then.